your favorite question, your age. Uh, you were asked about uh, President Jimmy Carter's comment not long ago that he doesn't think uh, someone should serve as president after 80, that the job is, is too demanding. You were asked, you said no, but the experience counts. But the New York Times had a story yesterday uh, saying that a number of Democrats are worried. Uh, and I'm, I'm just going to read about what it says have been your uneven performances on the debate stage and verbal miscues as a campaigner preventing you from presenting a strong and confident presence as a candidate. Look at me. Okay. The fact of the matter is that the people who, they went out and found people who said that. I don't doubt people said that. But I have not, uh, there's a significant number of people, the overwhelming number of people, haven't worried about any miscue or not. Look, this is for the voters to decide. Take a look. Look at me, see if I have the energy, see if I know what I'm talking about, and make their judgment. And it's as simple and as complicated as that. The economy, uh, new jobs numbers out today look pretty good. The unemployment rate is staying very low, 3.6 percent. It's as low as it's been in 50 years. President Trump has a strong hand He's, going you're into the. Absolutely economy. wrong about that. Look, go back to your old neighborhood. Find me, middle class folks who think they're better off. I mean, look, the numbers I don't look at. What I look at is what I hear in the street when I look into my old neighborhood. Back to the U Ukraine controversy. Yes. Your son, Hunter, you've been asked a lot of questions about this. But my question is, both of you have said you would not, as president, have your children, have him or your children involved uh, with foreign countries. My question is, if it's not appropriate if Joe Biden is president, why was it appropriate when you were vice president? Well, number one, no one's established that he did anything wrong or that I've done anything wrong, period. I've carried out the policy of the United States of America, our allies, the, in, the International Monetary Fund, the EU, in dealing with a corrupt prosecutor, period. Number one, I did not know he was on the board of that company. And in fact, no one's asserted on the board that it was illegal for him being on the board or he did anything wrong. But if you had known, would you have said well, don't or would you have believed, well, said this is wrong? No, it's not wrong. I, he, uh, he, his words speak for themselves. He wished he had realized how thugs like Rudy Giuliani and his cronies and the cronies of the president would try to paint it. The fact is there's been nothing established that he did anything wrong. The reason for my saying my children would not be involved with, in foreign affairs and or in any affairs is because of what's happened in this administration, this administration. I want to make sure everyone understands that there's a, going to be a hard, fast rule. No one in my family will be involved in anything. They'll not have offices in the White House. They will not sit in in cabinet meetings. They will not have foreign interest. And the fact is that all of what's been said, as you've observed, I'm not asking you to agree with this, but as you observed, has been basically, usually, mainstream reporters say, and Trump said, but it's not true. It's been a lie. Why is he doing it? He doesn't want to run against me. Period.